This is Norman Patterson, the Yellow Jacket Expert, and today is September 19th, 2023, and I'm down here in um, Stanford. And um, the reason I'm making this video is I'm starting to see more and more a, a um, southern yellow jackets coming up here into Connecticut. This is only about the fourth nest that I've seen, but um, they're starting to move up here. These are Vix squamosa and they are vicious. And um, as the poor lawn guy found out, um, so I'm just going to turn this around and let people see. Um, most people are not gonna check the varieties of the yellow jackets, but this is just more of a documentation of the fact that um, squamosa are here in Connecticut now. And I suspect it'll only get worse. So here they are. The squamosa, I gotta be careful. I don't know how vicious these are. I haven't worked a lot with them, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, here they are. Hole in the ground, just like other forms of yellow jackets. But um, from what I'm told, squamosa can be pretty nasty. So I'm gonna find out for myself today as I get ready to uh, do this. And as I tell people all the time, notice the traffic. That's what tells you whether you have a yellow jacket nest or not. Just in and out, and in and out, and in and out all day long. So, there you go. Okay, here are the uh, Scramosa. You should be able to see clearly that these are not Eastern Yellow Jackets, these are Southern Yellow Jackets. So here they are in Connecticut. Stanford, Connecticut. I've seen them in Bristol. My son has seen them as well, but um, it's worth noting. So forgive the vacuum that's in the background. I pulled up the Sucomosa nest because I'm curious myself what it looks like but it's pretty well hatched out. Those are all queen cells. Those are worker cells. But that's what a squamosa nest looks like. And my first one, here's a queen. This could be the founding queen, I don't know. I'm kind of inclined to think that that is the founding queen. So there, there we have it, Scamosa, uh, Stanford, Connecticut, September 19th, 2023, the Yellow Jacket Expert. And this was all done without pesticides, all done without chemicals, all done without poisons, and um, these will be used for sting allergy patients.